imagine this. Imagine you wake up to the sound of an earthquake alert, like you're going to die. The building's going to fall on you, run outside. And many got all over the Galilee. They ran outside of the building so it doesn't collapse on their head. But you know what it was? It wasn't actually an earthquake. It was a, the explosion underground of one of the Hezbollah's giant headquarter terrorists uh, underground city. And uh, so we, our team was able to find that. Our team was able to wire it with what some 380 tons, something like that of explosives and to blow it up. And so that seismic, that triggered all the seismic sensors. And, uh, but that is one more layer of, uh, L-A-I-R of terror that won't be used anymore to invade the Galilee, all their big plan to invade the Galilee and to destroy us and to, to, uh, the, the big plan is to destroy Israel by these people. It won't happen. Uh, what about Iran, the head of the octopus? What about how, you know, we've had to, been forced to, they forced our hand to strike multiple targets in retaliation for what Iran did to us. It's the first time in history that we've ever directly struck Iran. I mean, we don't want a war. We don't want a war. But when they do wave after wave after wave of intercontinental ballistic missiles and drones and and uh, missiles, <laughs> rockets, we have to shoot back. And so, but I'll get to that in a second. I just want to say is, is that so many tunnels are being found in Lebanon that are stock full of weapons you know, for a, a October 7th style invasion of Israel. And so we have to, and that's what I'm doing, by the way, every day. And it's, it's bi I'm busier than normal, you know, and finding 3,200 explosives, 2,500 anti-tank missiles, uh, deadly weapons, um, plans, plans, maps, maps of Israel. And we won't, we won't have it, you know. Uh, it, it w they will not succeed in their plan to conquer the Galilee. No, not going to happen. Okay, and we've, we've kind of dreaded this for years and years and years. I've talked about this since 2006. 2006, I was there in Lebanon talking about what will happen when they do their big plan. Even when October 7th happened, we didn't think it was the, the Hamas. We thought it was them. We thought it was they were doing their big plan in, in Lebanon because they're such a strong army. Little by little, we're winning. We're winning. But there's clearly an issue with Iran that can't be ignored. And that's why we've had to strike over the last several hours uh, you know, striking infrastructure deep inside Iran, uh, missile manufacturing facilities, surface to air missiles, other aerial defense systems, to, it, right in Tehran, where the provinces of Elam and Kuzetstan uh, were all hit, you know, Isfahan. Uh, we, we don't want a war with Iran. We really don't. But we have to. Yeah, if we could just ignore all these cyber attacks, all these missiles, uh, the fact that they're racing towards a nuke to nuke nuke us with a nuclear attack, we would be an ostrich putting its head in the sand if we if we didn't uh, address this directly. It is the first time in history that we've had to directly full scale do full scale military uh, retaliation to this head of the octopus, this head of terror. And, um, but these are, our, our planes are really good. I talked with a pilot today, uh, one of our best, and he's, I'm not going to say his name. And you know what? Iran has been actively arming so many proxies that could have shot these planes down, but I'm just so thankful. And please thank God with me that our pilots have come back safe. And, um, Israel's already, so, I mean, we're tired of the fight with Gaza against Hamas, with <laughs> Hezbollah in Southern Lebanon. But you know what? They made a big mistake to quote Netanyahu. They cannot shoot us with hundreds of intercontinental ballistic missiles to get away with it. We will not put up with it. I know the United States will back us. And the, the, the global powers are watching us right now. It's just phenomenal. And I, we just pray it won't be a, a inter, you know, a global crisis right now. Um, it's uncertain how or if they will respond. What's going to happen? I mean, Tehran is angry. Um, they've had multiple, you know, and I know that flights won't go to Iran, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, all are diverted. Even many from Israel are diverted. Um, Iran is saying they want to, they vowed retaliation, but I wonder, I wonder what will happen. I mean, I'm wondering tonight right now what will happen and will they use their proxies? Will, will they activate people in Iraq or Syria or other countries? What will happen? I'm just glad that we are little by little winning. We're little by little tearing down the encampments of the enemy. We are little by little on a geopolitical stage. We are making great advancements. Uh, you know, Secretary of Defense of the United States, Lloyd Austin, and there's an election coming up soon there. 
And he says, United States stands with Israel. And uh, we want to make sure that an escalation won't happen and that multiple countries won't join in. We want to send our ships and, and planes and destroyers to the area which they have to pre prevent a larger war. And uh, I just believe that, I believe it's a time of learning. This is the time as we've rolled the sc Torah scroll back, as we've um, started again from the beginning, it's, it, we're on high alert, we're on, and we should be in our personal lives, and we should be opening up the Bible, and, and I want to open up to, and I do this, right? To Dvarim, Deuteronomy 33, verse 26. The Lord is Israel's shield and your sword of victory. Isn't that amazing? We will stand, we will triumph together, we will win. Yachad Nenatzech, Am Yisrael Chai. 